Hey friends, this is Jim with Philly Fixed. Welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to show you guys some new DeWalt tools that are coming out. Um, some that have been announced and others that we only know about because Lowe's has listed them on their website. Um, so let's get right into it. First, we have the DeWalt Extreme 12 volt 5 and 3 8 inch circular saw. Now this one has been announced. It's not really a secret at this point. Belts and Boxes did a video on it a little over a week ago. Uh, so this is going to be a 12, 12 volt circular saw in their extreme line. The extreme line has in brick and mortar stores been limited to Lowe's. Otherwise, uh, they don't have it at Home Depot. They have it on some online retailers. Others have done videos on this. I'm not going to dig into it too much except to tell you that uh, while it's not available at Lowe's, um, yet, and it's priced at 139 there. But if you go over to Fasteners Inc., um, you know, as of today, uh, it's the evening of July 26th. Uh, it says you can get it by August 6th if you if you order it. So um, I did place an order for this. We'll see how quickly I get it. But uh, it's not only cheaper than Lowe's, but available to order. So that's pretty cool. All right, moving on to some things that maybe you haven't seen yet. We've got a new reciprocating saw. This is a 20 volt recip saw. It's an XR, so it's a brushless recip saw. Now, they do have an existing XR recip. This is a more compact model. Uh, you know, it says on the specs 14 and a half inch length fits between studs. It's got 2,900 strokes per minute, one and one eighth inch stroke length. That's the existing one. This is available at both Home Depot and Lowe's. This one also has a one and one eighth inch stroke length, but to me, it looks longer. You know, the body definitely looks longer on this one compared to the existing Compact XR. But here you up it to 3,200 strokes per minute versus the 2,900 on the other one. This one weighs 5.1 pounds, whereas the Compact one weighs 5 even, according to this. It doesn't have an adjustable shoe, which is surprising, uh, especially because it's a longer saw. You'd, you'd think that's not one of the features they would want to skip, but it, it seems like it's it's fitting in the line as a full size 20 volt saw um, that's not a power detect or a flex fold advantage. So uh, somewhere kind of in the middle between their their compact brushless and brushed tools and their higher end power detect at Lowe's or flex fold advantage over at Home Depot. Moving on. So this is where we're starting to see um, 12 volt form factor tools transitioning over to 20 volt uh, forms. So this is a new compact half inch impact wrench, 250 foot pounds of tightening, 400 foot pounds of nut busting torque. Um, but this looks exactly like the existing 12 volt extreme. I mean, the, the molded rubber on it, um, everything looks very, very similar. The difference, of course, being, you know, the battery slot at the bottom being a little bit longer to accommodate the 20-volt battery, but these two look extremely similar. So I, I expect that this is really uh, just the 12-volt extreme with uh, the circuitry modified to accept the 20-volt battery, and that's nothing new. We've seen that with other brands. Um, so they have both the half-inch, version here in the 20 volt and they're also going to have a 3 8 inch with the same torque ratings as the half inch of course uh, so you're going to see some compact impact wrenches coming out in the 20 volt line this is pretty interesting uh, we've got an sds plus rotary hammer in a 12 volt form factor you know I, I i haven't i haven't had a chance to do too much research to see if anybody else has a 12 volt sds rotary hammer but um you know, on the surface, this seems like it's asking a lot of a 12 volt platform uh, to, to do a rotary hammer, but, uh, you know, we'll see. It says it can do up to a 9 16ths inch bit, which is pretty cool. So, you know, you're not going to be doing super heavy demo with this, but, you know, maybe you're just doing repointing or, you know, light to moderate masonry or something like that. Uh, you're doing some cosmetic stuff. You're not, you're not trying to demolish a huge. Uh, masonry wall, you know, this might be a good lightweight option for you. Uh, it might be good for just doing some of those lighter duty tasks. So this is pretty cool. And it looks like it's hard to tell. Maybe it says if it has two or three modes. One thing I, I always like to see is whether it has 
uh, a hammer only mode. A lot of these only have either straight drilling or hammer drilling. Um, but I like to have that hammer only mode so that I can just chip away at something if I need to. Uh, I have an 1800s house so I, I, with that stone. So plenty of opportunities to, uh, to use that hammer only mode to chip out uh, mortar and repoint or something like that. But uh, so I guess, oh, here we go. I'm sorry. Drilling, hammer drilling, and chiseling. So it does have those three modes. So I'm really happy to see that. I know the Makita, the little black subcompact 18 volt, does not have the chisel mode. Uh, and that's one reason I didn't buy it. But great to see here. And finally, we have a 20 volt iteration of the 12 volt extreme impact driver. Uh, I'll put the card in, in the, the video and a description in the description below, but uh, I did a video comparing the DeWalt Atomic to the 12 volt extreme. And one of the things I said in that video was that the DeWalt Atomic doesn't really offer any weight or size savings uh, to speak of compared to the DCF887. And I questioned where the Atomic really fits in to the line other than maybe you save a little bit of money, but if you just wait for a sale on the 887, it's really not worth it. So this might answer uh, that question I had as to, you know, where's the actual compact impact driver in the 20 volt line? Uh, this one looks a little different than the extreme. Uh, it's, it, you know, you can see, for example, that the cast metal uh, housing on the front here has this little, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, it's not completely smooth, whereas the the 20 volt, you can see that's completely smooth there in front of this this rubber protective molding. But so it it has a little more of a difference between this and the extreme than those impact wrenches did. Uh, but I'm glad to see what looks like a truly compact impact coming out in the 20 volt line, not just the atomic where it barely shaves any weight or size off. Uh, and then finally, this is a, a little bit of a different category, but over at Home Depot, um, you may have noticed in the uh, the raceway uh, displays, a racetrack, I should say, displays, they've got these $99 job site fans. But if you weren't looking closely, you may not have noticed um, this is the 511B, but, and I don't even know if you can buy it on the website yet, but here it is. In store only, it looks like. This is the 512B. This is a new model. I am in the process of editing a video that compares the new 512 to the 511, but go to your store and take a close look. You'll see that uh, this is actually labeled as new, but you know, DeWalt just didn't make a big deal out of releasing this. It's kind of interesting. It was kind of silently released. So keep an eye out for the video. I'm comparing these two fans, the 512 and the old 511. Um, so, hey, if you found this video helpful or enjoyable, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Please consider subscribing. Uh, I didn't forget about my 5,000 subscriber special event. I've just been a little behind, uh, but we are going to do that even though I'm almost past 5,200 already. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. My name is Jim with Philly Fixed, and God bless. Hello, I'm Jim Davis.